greetings and as well we're going to take a look at this term and we're going to tackle it like we did more MR and do it the same way we're going to look into the ancient tongues we're going to look into English we're going to look into the appearance of English and this is a book from 1894 that uses the term Moorish Americans ambiguously and Sultan of America which can mean the people if we deal with the ancient tongue like we the people and the ancient time you'll see Sultan we have here the treaty of peace of friendship between Moors and the United States <laughs> which would be Moors and Christians at that time as you see to the great one of the American states the great one of the American states the president so peace be on to you or Islam be on to those who follow the right guidance so basically tell some of us been not following the right guidance over here <laughs> what we want to see is this word American we see right here the word American in this language written at this time is Americanos or Maricanos. The word Estados we see is in Spanish form or Portuguese or whatever. We see this word. It's not a Spanish form or Portuguese form, we'll see later. But the form that I deduce is a Punic Latin. We see many words come out into Punic Latin into the, to the time of today. But this word don't exist today in this language is not being spoken. We speak in English. <laughs> or we speak in American English, so to say. In American English, they got the word American. But this word existed before they adopted it. And the word American meant the same thing as this. Let's say the states of the Moroccans, the Moroccan states, but you know, in the Punic, they would have been going backwards. So, so the Moroccan states. The American states. But let's say the Moroccan states also, we just speaking this or he is in, in a new Roman type Latin we're going to look into that today new Latin as they call it and we know that because maps you know on maps we see this conjugate like Latin not like Spanish not like Portuguese not like French not like English this word is conjugated on maps like Latin if you want to say of America, you'll say America with an E at the end, or the Americas, it'll have the E at the end. When it's in English, the adopted version, it'll say the Americas with an A-S. So that's how you know the difference. They just adopted it, but the adoption ain't gonna never be stronger than the parent. So we more right than anything they can define it with in English. Cause you adopt in another word make your own word if you want to have your own word you know so <clears throat> we see this means land of moors just like this he talking to the land of we talking to the moors and he's saying peace be to those who follow the right guidance which is the muhammadan law say i.e the muhammadan law on the, in the treaty right as we can see today in the Arabic type language which is the same language as Punic mixed with Arabic and Latin just like the, the Maltese and the Maghrebian Latin 
I mean, Maghrebi and Moroccan um, language, uh, Arabic. Got a lot of fluence of Western, which is another term that we use, right? Western civilization or Westerners. So let's continue. We're going to see all that. This is an example of why the A just is like Al in Arabic. But the same pure Arabic that we see today. This is a Punic type mixture. So the Al is that. We see that in this example. Now he doesn't have it. He's just Moroccans. The Moroccans. The states of the Moroccans. And it's just Moroccans. But the, the Latin version still got the A. It'll, it'll conjugate like this. Based off the rules of Latin. <laughs> but we're going to see how the English play games. They're going to conjugate it themselves. Because they understand that this means Moroccans. <laughs> And then they're going to define it just so anybody who coming around now saying this like like doing now, they're going to already have a version and they're going to define it. So I can't come before them and say that's what that is, American. You can take the A off a day. If they come after me, you're going to look like, you know, by according to the rules of Latin or English, you, you still wouldn't never take the A off. Will take you could take the A off it, but it would be that version of the word. It would be no inflection, like how this is. And you can add the A or not. We'll we'll figure. We'll see that later. <coughs> we'll see that later. In other languages, you'll see a T and different things that say the ta American. If you go to the ancient, <coughs> same rules. <coughs> so we got Amorica, or Morica, which is yet another version, but they claim that it means sea. The land of the sea. <laughs> uh, you know, the, we know this word, MR, got many meanings, right? And we see right here, they add this to it. They say the Ika power come from Utica. Let's check that out. Because they know everything got origins. And the origin always lead back. You see, a Phoenician colony on the African coast near Carthage. Utica. So we know who the Amorians are. Are influenced by. <laughs> so to say. But we know all these language got a tree. You see, Brittany. How much of people we know named Brittany in the hood? And all you gotta do is go look up. Uh, a boy named Hassan um, David McRitchie's The Bretons And now uh, let's talk about Moors Let's see Armoricani They can follow these people through time Like a Winetti Like Phoenician And then they mix 
too at the top of these pages they put don't <laughs> don't mix with a don't mix like right here they say not to be confused with America they make sure they put that up there for you but we ain't really trying to connect that to that like that we trying to show you how these language come from these letters and these language ain't come from no, none of these English <laughs> and it's ain't creating nothing they just adopt things and they try to define it as a, as this but you gotta create your own letters and your own system if you wanna do that you can't just change that and they say yours is the right and mine's is the original not mine but our ancestors <coughs> version is mute you know, the Bretons coming from the Celtic, which they know got from the Phoenician line. <clears throat> Be dealing with language as a way to follow these things every time. Because you can't deny when you come with the language. You see that right there? Al Barakin. Now, you know, we say. We call this place also our Moroccan, which is the Americans. We just put the L back in front of them. Even though we don't split them out, put the hyphen. Oh, some people split them, but the hyphen, we can still do them like this, too, because we over here. Let's see who our guy. We already know what's up with that. The holy walls. So our Moroccan, we're going to see what. We say our mother rocking with the M, right? We also know that from the different words like Barbarica will be Mamarica, which is another term that got the same meaning in the country of most. But the different versions we're gonna see M E R M O R, it'll matter. Mari. We got Mecca and Becca. But you but it makes sense because when you say a word with an M or B, it could be mistaken for one or the other. <coughs> you even get up to Amazai and Emazai, which will be like the Punic Latin would be Africa and the Roman Latin would be Africa like we see today right because we see all the, the walls between the, the Roman and, and, and uh, the Carthage they've been African African Severium and all of them had the names of Africa when they go and conquer so called Africa which was just the, those uh, Moors who've been in Tunis at that time they've been Africa they wasn't the Roman version of Kadah who been those Moors they were they been also those Moors who been in that area in ancient Rome which was Mar <laughs> we gotta stay we gotta start dealing with that late stuff they be talking about cause <laughs> they make movies and cartoons but you know they ain't got no time machine to know what's going on. We can follow this ourselves with the language. So, it's, um, so you see, they deal with Malta. All those little islands, the Mediterranean, IKB, Greece, Rome, France, anyone in the Mediterranean, that's right, they buy what's so called Africa, right? So, we already know that's the, we dealing with the whole world. We deal with anything. Ain't nobody just separated like that. That's how they make history look. Look at right there. The barbarities of the Atlantic. The Atlantic. So you know, people come around and they try to keep they keep finding these similarities all over the world, but it makes sense to realize that the whole world open not nobody jump from both hemispheres. They can they get oppositely like the world is found out by each other after 1492 that's that spell see bird birds and everything but what they say what they figure out which is obvious for anybody who look at the languages Hebrew Canaanite Punic 
and probably, but you know, probably we know Berber, <laughs> Egyptian, Arabic, Latin, <laughs> English, French, all these languages can be just the same family, just got forms based off history and how shit gone. So, we're gonna get into MR. It's M, it's R. Right? The um, M, and this right here, this R will stand for like different things, but in this case, we're using it for wisdom or Emi. According to how they pronounce it in the anglicized, but they do a good job because they do an all right job with it. Because all they're doing is giving us phonetics using these letters, our letters, and they're giving us how sh sh shit to sound. <laughs> so we got the M, and then no vowels. So this means masculine, this don't mean the M, but the this means M without vowels. And this means R, which is like the mouth. So this means different things dealing with speech. And this means different things dealing with being like the I am that I am, like a um, verb. We gonna see. So right here we see an overseer. <laughs> and you got M and R together. They used overseer, but they could have used master or lord or you know, something that make more sense, but they try to make them, they always try to deal with the, the slavery issue when you're dealing with Egyptian shit, you know, but they don't wanna, gotta, but we lost in the translations because shit ain't that really mean like certain things. We gonna see. So right here, we see the way how it's supposed to sound to us, right? Emir. But we know that because the word emir come down into the history, especially the Arabic, emir. But ain't no such thing as vowels, so take away the I, the I, and the E, and you got MR, right, again. <laughs> got a whole three videos on this, right, but we go into the Egyptian to prove the same point. So they used overseer, they could have just put more on master or some shit. They know that because they know the different words that come out of MR means different things in all the languages, but it all means something like a master or a lord. But watch how they freak them, and they still use overseer, but they gonna tell you what them two symbols really mean. So we got the word more again, and we got the word Misha. So that's why I say we looking at these things in English, but we need to go back to those times and look at these things. We look at Misha as the king of Moab, but that's a whole army, so it could be talking about army. But Emir Mesa, there ain't no H neither, so Mesa. You got the Moor and the symbol for Mesa, our army, and that means military leader you see how he ain't overseer no more is leader so they could have just put that <laughs> master leader but then we won't play games try to hide from you more <laughs> mr it don't matter what kind of files you put in between it as long as you know what you're talking about nobody can't tell you you're wrong you see the army of the mess city using mesa And right here, how they freak them. Now they tell you the truth. M. No J's, because ain't no I's. Just M. <laughs> but you can't just say M R without putting a vowel in it phonetically. You can't just say M. And you'll be saying you put some kind of vowel in between. So that's why they do that to show you that vowels came later, but they still phonetically spoke vowels. <laughs> but you got M R. And what it means, the being in, which is perpetual state of being, <laughs> with M. That's how deep we get in the mouth with the R. Literally meaning, one who is whom the mouth is. So the word, applying one who gives commands. So that can be your mother, 
your father, <laughs> the head of the house, the head of the or the head of the, the president, <laughs> you know, anybody give a command, but the who the ultimate person in the Christian religion who gives command to the Moses. God gave the command to the Moses. So we go back to MR using in the different languages coming down as Lord and God and shit like that, saints. One who gives command. <coughs> Which is um, also used as the definition in, I think, the Syriac couple of languages as a commander. <laughs> MR Stoke using the this going down into history as far as now you got muster and the master he gives the commands <coughs> but also more and they and they would never tell you that <laughs> but I use in the own words it's another word with MR but they add a W like model <laughs> and it means the people like again, we the people, and they can use more. <laughs> and with the word for American, the Americanos, they've been talking about more. We've been saying, where we've been using since back in the time of these times, still using that MR to talk about them people. Us. <laughs> I hear what kind of other definition they add to it. They better use their own letters. So we got man and woman, Mar and Marat ancient pro-Semitic, pro-Semitic and Arabic going down and they add more to dispute so the overseer of disputes as a Sharif and then look at us how Rome catch him Emir, Senate now you know the Senate they deal with disputes so everything just in the land, we know Rome is everything, Egypt, they take everything you look at Rome. That just means they steal from the ancient Egyptians who've been there. And the so-called Greeks been said to learn from the Egyptian diet, where you really is them Greeks just amalgamated over time. They've been the original Moors who've been the ancient. See, Egypt ain't been what we think that place. That's the ancient Egyptian empire. Everybody speaking one language and under, you know, a kingdom, empires and shit. All over the world. Emir Utneter. The overseer of a temple. You know, Neter is also used as God. Th things dealing with the higher levels, you know. God. <laughs> Using that term as a term that we understand. Same thing. The one who gives commands. There we go. Still using that MR Moriyan. He's the chief gives the commands. We gotta understand we might think people don't want but people in these times probably don't know these words I mean before using it. I don't think people we use words that we don't really know it mean now more than anything. <coughs> we see an example. We use Alaska for this word, but we got them just like we got the American in a different form. And they even don't even got the Al, but sometimes you see Al, Oscar. But the American forms, they don't take the air a lot, but they still connect it to show you how forms, I'm mean, using this to show you how forms can be used right out face of different words, words that go back to ancient times, but they ain't gonna tell you them shit when they define them in their Webster's and their different dictionaries. But you gotta go through etymology and you'll start to see that these motherfuckers, they ain't know how to define shit, really. They tell you what it means based off of when you reckon, when you see it, you will be able to recognize them. Instead of defining that thing down to the letters. So we got the last and extreme. If they defy it down to letters, you'll be creating new new words and using forms, creating your reality. Like they do. They, they, they adopt everything and they ain't define it. So last and extreme, just like Alaska. So that's what they're using that word for. 
in the in the different form. But I believe that plenty of the the words here is just is in that Amari Kano's form. We just can't read that shit no more because we we don't know what we're speaking. We ain't even defining our own language or studying this shit like that really. What we saying, what they saying, erroneous. Like words like museum and aquarium is Latin words as museum and aquarium. But they adopt everything and then they want to just say that's not a Latin word. That's their word. <laughs> just because they say them different. But at the end of the day, the person who say them in the original form got the more authority over that word because you get that from me. Not the other way around, like the parent, that's why I say look into what language is parent instead of the other ones. <coughs> so you see we using the West as where the sun set, or the West as in America. Also with the word Maghreb, also MR in it. And this word, we're gonna see this word all over the world too, using for the West. The Maghreb, we see that's Northwest Africa. That's where they'll be quick to tell you, as we know today. But that's just during the time when the center of the world probably been in Egypt or Jerusalem or something like that. So that would make it the West of them. If I went in Spain, <laughs> Northwest Africa, when he in Morocco, when he ends Morocco, but if he in Spain and Morocco, the, the streets between the streets, they. Maghreb becomes America, just like they use the term Levant. And they call it the American Levant, sometimes inside the records. The oil records. So Maghreb, we see the Persian use the same thing. Now the English, they call it, that's how they spell Morocco. So America, it's not the Swiss, it's the English, right? And we know the English been dealing with Morocco before America. So they break away from English and they join America. Ain't nobody they ain't telling nobody who these Americans is or what their language been and not that, but the English been spelling like this, all with the O, Morocco, like we see it. So we ain't speaking Morocco, we say America, but we saying Morocco. That's the trick, right there. But the English version is the one we call it M-O-R-O-C-C-O. -C -C -O. And we know that because the English used to deal with them before the 1774 Declaration of Independence where they separated from their parents, right? And, and became Americans, right? July 4th. So now they ain't saying Morocco like this no more. They say in the way of the Americans, which would be Americans, those Moroccans. So it's the same word as this. But these motherfuckers code switch their ass off. They'll use the term Ameri more like the term Moorish American already is like saying Moorish Moroccan, but the way they not adopt everything, we speak English. When we say Morocco, we just saying America. We just saying it in English. We just gotta recognize that. You know what I'm saying? And when we saying America, we go switching. We speaking in English, but we just say a, a new Latin word in the middle of the sentence. But we always do that in English. That's just, that's that fucking language is ridiculous. Portuguese got a different version of Spanish, different version, and you know the Berber version say land of God, and the Arabic version they change it to El Maghreb later. They both be saying Marrakesh too, like this, like the um, earlier Arabic, and you see the medieval Latin, right? Also got a version. Marokium. The Italian. Something like the French. Just to show you how we 
see how different forms of this word. In America, just our form. See, Madu Echo show up in a lot of records because we've been dealing with the Austrian Spanish. And another Latin form, see, a whole another one, like, this is ridiculous. But it, it, I understandable because it's, it's an old word, MR, and the kind, and they just add in different forms over time. So, Maroki, and then you, when you conjure, you declension, when you got different inflections, you even more forms. <laughs> So those most who've been writing to the back and forth to something in the United States, they, they had to understand how both of those words mean the same thing. <laughs> we just lose that understanding over time. Now they got the word West, even the word West come from the old Latin West Bear, which is the evening sun. Check that, the evening star. <coughs> star. That's where we get west from. So we're still getting back to God. The Venus, yep. Yeah. It's all astrology at the end of the day. But you know they put the biblical um, aspect in it. So the west. And they don't even say that it means the West. I know they, t I know they would tell you that the West come from that. Let me try West and see. See how they say the Western world now when they want to tell you El this Maghreb. So they play too much. I want the um, etymology. Yeah, they say West. Western. They don't even must know how to connect the words. Half the time. Western. West there. That's why I want them to point out the ignorant. They're ignorant, now I can tell you. <laughs> All right, see, yeah, they, they got it. <laughs> now, y'all know better than that. You got to catch them all on different pages. But you see, they come from the West Bear. You know, Hesperius. And that's one of the place names that show up for us over here. Hesperius, the evening star. That's the West. And then you can get much more deeper than another name. But they all go back to the land of God. That means the West will go back to another name. In a minute. So we see a lot of these using Madarab and the Amharic. Kupak, it's mean the West. So right here we see Amun. <laughs> so Amun mean the West, masculine, feminine, and the Amunites. <laughs> the Westerners, and they use an Occidental. Komohana. Ma Arab <laughs> and Yam. See the Urdu. He was Mugrib. That Poniente show up in the, in the records in the Swedish to spit out West there. Swahili Maghrebi 
Makaraka Makaribi <laughs> and Buckstar. I see that a lot for the West. These could just mean the West has direction, but they try to act, the, you know. Every other time, we'll call us the West with using the W E S T version. The West Bear, <laughs> the Rome, you know, they always will make everything that for the ancient. They will make it. They will, I, I look at it just um, Romanizing things like if ain't nothing come, you know, you ain't create nothing. You just like, you mess up. You don't understand this shit. And now you deal with belief instead of the science of it. So now you don't know the science of it, so you can't invent things or create things with the science. <laughs> and that they gonna keep the science ahead and in the cut in the Vatican the church and they gonna keep the high science with they Hubble telescope. <laughs> and it gives you the literature and science. So you didn't know how to do nothing, right? So that's why I say everything that's information that's just information look into it ain't nothing wrong or whatever and this right here is line like latin latini latinin <laughs> so even latinum meant the west and right here they use usage notes to display this wife and the saying say in English is an unqualified term they know that because in English we don't say our plural version of the word with A and E we don't put the E at the end to make us plural that's another language so they put this usage note up there to say hey, we got our own America now <laughs> that we do put Americas on which was not proper because this word ain't um, uh, English word for but <coughs> to do this word the rules of this language you put an E at the end so either, so they just give you that note the saying you gotta know that and be able to make them the demolition when you got to if you need to have ever <laughs> But a bunch of words in English that you gotta know that they adopt and redefine. And look what they put right here. They take the air off, it's like I've been saying, it just Moroccan, but out of Moroccan with the air attached. <laughs> but they say a formally reused that. So like somebody come around, put these up because they've been looking into this word America for years and this new and they come around put this up there for a kind of motherfuckers to my humorous because this in a one day say one year to start seeing this on t-shirts and shit and the rest of these don't matter just, just play play names but they throw this in the up the to at the top to hurry up and define and show you just informal <laughs> I'm telling you this, this, they know that you can do this to the word and it'll still be right well it should be this in reality if you want to say if you're coming from a new Latin it should be this this will make more sense because the Latin wouldn't put the, the Latin don't got the, they don't got no way of putting the, so that means that's a different type of Latin, that's a Latin mixed with something, and that um, Almaricanos is not a officially uh, Arabic, that's an Arabic mixed with something, so you know, the Moors and the Christians on this side are different than on the other side slightly, you can tell when the two languages used. You can tell in the Latin use all over on our seals, on our um, state seals and stuff like that. It, it a different type of, a little bit different than the classical Latin. So America shouldn't be no different. It's Latin, but it's just a little different. <laughs> so we see even in the Hindi, we got America, similar to the 
Arabic, but it's slightly different. And then America and Hindi. Everybody have a little slight difference. And they got the Estados, like we had them, but they ain't got the American like we had them. And this America spelled a little bit different in the Amazon. Just to show that in 1786, they should have something totally different from the day. <laughs> Technically, because that's 1786, it's a long time ago. But it ain't that different, we're gonna see the closest one to it, right? The Greek, which would be the, 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 the ancient Moorish, um, Mediterranean, you know, Phoenician. So they get real close with this one, so, you know, Whenever you see it, her brothers and sisters into the the capital and the thing like that, like it died even falling in me because those people were interesting. So called, we actually see writings on the wall and paintings on the wall and people. So. And the Gaelic. They take off the A by when they call it out America or Morocco. <laughs> they say America, America. <laughs> but the other forms don't have the A. The Gaelic. <laughs> and again, the Greek, you see, the most similar that I find Americanos. But outside, we have the A with the E N. And Amariki, similar to the Arabic and the one we got today. See, Americana. And again, Amun means the West. To them, to them at this time, <laughs> which is really the East to us today, the right direction. But this would mean a Westerner was was a Amun or Yamen, like Ben Benjamin, Benjamin, Ben Yamen, see, Emen or Amen, like we say today. <coughs> see, but ain't no J, so you know Yamen. So we got um, you see they put more to it too. When you talk about man and woman. You can click certain words. All these people that had like all these like when you were, when you as a person you would have had the more title. That's that's how I look at it. See, like the people had like the more title and the gods would have yeah, another title. You know, all words got positive or negative, so they have another word that got M something. That means the opposite of being, <laughs> not being. So it's death. So that's how we get words like mortgage and stuff like that from the same word. So everywhere it got the balance. We all know that. <laughs> and and more is not being. So you got being and not being. So when you got the living, the people been mores. <laughs> God, I can't remember. I don't know what God means, but something. Like M something. So, you know, we see to create, to form, to fashion, Amon, Amanu. All these words can make different words. It don't literally mean like God as how we think of God. Like, <laughs> it just means to create, form, or fashion, or shape. And again, MR, and then they got another form. In the hieroglyphics, you know, the J's don't matter. We almost finished. And we see R again, which is usually R, but they got different forms around the world. And we got different words today that actually can be connected back all the way to here. Come out.
Division opening mouth interest ironous statement part when he by himself he dealing with stuff like speech and um, the M by itself that just in inherent something that's being is inherent like a vowel, I mean a verb, <laughs> state of being. Then we break when we break down the um, M and the B, and um, the ancient uh, way of the Canaanite Phoenicians, the M and the B. The M is mother and the B is father, and it makes Moab, right? Mother and father. <coughs> Not the same way as in this. The, the letters by itself mean things, but together they mean things. It's like amazing. When you see my pages, it's trying to give you different ways that <coughs> could be said. Yeah, right. I do have it in here. Emit. Ayimi, Ima, it's an ought to be. So it's the opposite. You still got the owl, but now you got this. So we get different words from that too. And you also got the one. <laughs> being and the being and the heart so they make different words based off that one who is in the heart and they got MB which is Moab <laughs> if you take away the vowels or different ways you could say it Yamib Yamib, Yamib. <coughs> so we got two different ways we can use, we can define Moab based off M and B. Canaanite or Egyptian. We got another version with M. And then when you put it with R, you got the different overlords or the lords or the masters. But they put it with other things. So you got M, and you got Kenneth, Zenith, me Zenith. And that means a chamberlain, a priest, king. So they use that M as a Emi. Connect on to make the being stand out, <laughs> stand in the forefront. The one who is in the forefront. So it basically just means the one. Like I say, am that I am. And we add the R, you add the mouth. The mouth is the command of the word. I mean, the one speaks. <laughs> Amy shit. <laughs> the being in throughout. Succeeding and following after. It's an ancestor, successor. Yeah. Amy Kit. And that's another example. From the ancient Egypt, you got just the M with no vowels, but you see they put an A right there in front of them and add an am duat. So, you see. It's not, it's not nothing new. <sighs> and again, another example, dealing with the woe and the testament and the house and the state. So 
for examples of how to use the, the mouth <laughs> to use words like say stuff like that So the Ammonites would be the Westerners linguistically. And again, the Senate. And using it the mouth part in a different way. The er, the R. So Mary. They're using it for love. We get a words like amor in Latin. From that, so what do you say about the M? Oh, so we got the M represented right here now, and that's making even more stuff you can make with it. The MR loves. Mer. That's how the Egyptian usually say M E R. Meresk Unk. She loves life. And now I'm using it as MR as beloved. And you see how the same way as they got connecting word at the front, ta, like ah, America, they use it ta in this version in ancient Egypt. And you know America tried to be like ancient Egypt, Washington DC. Different versions for different periods. Using M R Y T Mert. <laughs> Can you see how the Mert is she in present form, like the the, the ultimate and the, the noun she all the time. Mertra, Meritra, Merit, yeah, Merita, Meritra. She's more. So, hope you'll be able to see the language, the letters, and go back and take the vowels out and look at the Arabic first. Being that they got the, they still got a lot of these <coughs> definitions for these word, these um, um, letters without the files like this. All we know is the word America. Let's define. We know what parentheses is. That means he's just saying two words. We know they don't never show this word <laughs> to no children in no schools. <laughs> he looks it up online. He just more so uses this word in the documents. But they don't mention this word, period. They mention this word every day. The word just America, Orlando, Morris, or Moroccan, but. They'll never write it in this form for you. But you just got it in this video. Longer than it should be. And that'll be it for this late night. Very late. Edition of debunking half of these erroneous English. <laughs> 
please just like American states. Let's go back to the ways our ancient forefathers, forefathers. You know, that's honoring them. So, till next time, peace, Islam.